here we are with reincarnated as a sword so yeah if you like what you see leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think if you like it or not or if you want to see more or not and yeah i guess i mean i don't know much i just know that basically i guess the guy's girl guy i don't know uh, is reincarnated as a sword like the name says very obvious and a cat girl picks it up and is wrong with it i guess i don't know we will see so yeah let's get to the episode truck on nope just a normal car interesting dragon thingies and there's our girl <clears throat> Does she have a name? <laughs> Indeed. <clears throat> can he just think or can he also talk? Six moons. <laughs> Interesting, self-recovery and telekinesis. Yes. Looks fancy with the gold and everything. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, he can do stuff. Oh, yeah, telekinesis. That's smart using it like that on yourself. I mean, you are sort, you don't have emotions. Oh, they have crystals inside. Did he level up? <clears throat> Who needs a wielder if you can just do it yourself as a sword? <laughs> Crystal XP memory. Another voice. <laughs> Poke him. He's blushing. Poison resistance, vigilance. <clears throat> he 
and he buried them. <clears throat> it's a very interesting start, I would say. Basically, rushes you through everything to get the gist of it. Damn. Useless black cat. Is it all cats or just black cats? Is the sword coming from the sky now? Surprise! Oh! <laughs> He's hungry for skills. <clears throat> Mana drain, that's super useful if he uses mana to fly around. <laughs> Hello, that's awesome. Self evil. Mana increase, very good for him. <clears throat> Not yet. I definitely have to rewatch the episode because I didn't catch all everything they said. But it's a lot. <laughs> Slay them all. <laughs> Goblin Slayer would be jealous. Oh. <clears throat> Wide variety of skills. <laughs> Dang, he dead. Reminds me a little bit of like slime, right? Where in the first episode he gained like all these skills and stuff. Oh, interesting. So you can increase the skills by getting the same again. <clears throat> but I guess you don't know which monster has which skills, so it's more random, I guess. Damn, dude. Man, these guys are super dumb. Oh. <clears throat> I mean, they they use them for as tools basically, right? If you beat them up, you can't use them as tools. It's dumb. Fucking idiots. Oh, 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 yeah, give him hell. Oh, my God.
Come on. The sword comes and fucks him up. Or not. God damn it. <clears throat> she must evolve. Oh. Makes me wonder. I, I, I guess she's, you could say, a demi human, right? So maybe demi humans can evolve. <laughs> oh, his blade broke, but he can recover. Oh, oh my god, that's so handy. But I wonder why he's always returning to his starting point. He's always going back to that, like, thing where he was inside. Gelatin Slime King. <laughs> That's a big boy. Bestiary. <clears throat> That's a big crystal. Right through the middle. Or not? Wind shooter. <laughs> and then he is stuck inside and can't get out. <laughs> Alright. Ooh. God damn. Thirteen hundred MP already. That's quite a bit. Dimensional storage. What does a no what does a sword need a storage for? <laughs> <coughs> okay, double snake. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Fight and evolve. Oh, turn him around and then in his throat. <laughs> Dude, by the time he gets to the girl, there's no monster left anymore. <laughs> Everything is dead. <clears throat> Ooh. Appraisal. Magic poison thing. How handy that he gets poison when he needs it against an enemy that is weak against it. Alright. Dude, we are only halfway through the episode, a bit more, and so much happened. But the girl is maybe here? <coughs> oh, he can't get away. And the girl finds him now. That's a dumb situation. Three days. 
can't get out because the ground absorbs his magic. Yeah, not quite. Not quite. Ten days. Oh my god. Do we get to one year later? <clears throat> How many points does he have to keep increasing his skills still? <laughs> Can't you recover from rust? And here she is. Not quite. Oh, big bear with two heads. <clears throat> Here we go. Come on. It's time. Damn. He dead. Now she here. No one has control over her anymore. So it was this one guy that had the control over them. I wonder if, <laughs> I wonder if that's maybe his magic. Or something. Do boy. <laughs> This guy got ripped apart by both heads. Oh, holy shit. <clears throat> there we go. Hello, me lady. So normally no one can hear him, but he uses telepathy. <laughs> Dude, I guess everyone is dead except her. That's a big sword. That's a big sword. <clears throat> Interesting. Mufu Mimi. Huh. 
<laughs> okay, back in the ground you go. He survived. God damn it. Kill him. Slice on him in half. So he can control the color too. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! He broke his neck with his telekinesis. He's blushing again. For what? I guess we get get the backstory later. Oh. Okay. And that's why she wants to become stronger. <clears throat> Interesting purpose, right? Run, okay. I mean, she's not enslaved anymore, so fine, it is. <laughs> Sword. Really, teacher? All right. <laughs> no. He wants to be nice. <clears throat> Can't wait for that day to come. <laughs> Which we probably will never see. Oh, Goblin Army. Where's Goblin Slayer? He would have fun here. Adventurer Guild, okay. Okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think, if you liked it or not, if you want to see more or not. Um, but yeah, first impression quite funny and <coughs> sensory overload i would say because <coughs> you see the whole stat windows and everything right and the thing is because at least i can't can't read japanese it's so much stuff on the screen and i don't understand anything right and then you get like all the text at the bottom right where the subtitles are for everything that happens like all the skills and stuff but it is so much stuff at once that it's hard to follow and i mean you basically don't know what everything means right so it's a lot of stuff that as of right now is kind of pointless so you focus more like on the text what is said right what the dialogue is 
And <clears throat> so, yeah, I feel like this episode seemed a little bit rushed. I mean, <clears throat> it's good that they rushed it. I mean, I don't know if they rushed it or not, but that's what it seems like. But I guess because they did it so that they can get all the information out of the way that you get to the main part, right? Um, because, yeah, there was quite a bit they unpacked here, basically. Um, let me check something really quick. Uh, da -da 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 -da. No, but further. Where is it? Should be somewhere here, I guess. Or maybe not. It's somewhere. Uh, I hear this. With the five areas. So, here's an area one. And I'm wondering, why did you always go back to area one when he was done? Maybe <clears throat> because that's the safest place, maybe? Um, but yeah, he interesting that it's like five areas, basically. And he always goes back. And yeah, I mean, he gains stats from killing monsters, obviously, from the crystals. It's basically like leveling up and gaining experience. And then killing monsters gives him skills. And if he gets skills again that he already has, then those skills increase more. Which, like I said in the episode, seems like RNG, right? Because I guess you can't really know which skill the enemy has before. Or maybe, I mean, he has, like, an analysis, an appraisal skill, right? So maybe if he can, like, analyze the enemy, he can maybe see which skill it has. And then he can be like, okay, I want that, so I kill it. Um, but yeah, like I said, it reminded me quite a bit of, like, um, Reincarnated as a Slime, right? The first episode, where basically a lot of stuff happened. Lots of, like, going around, <coughs> learning all the skills getting all the information, learning new skills, going around killing monsters and all that stuff. Felt very similar, right, to that. And yeah, now we have Bran and her goal, which will be the goal of the anime, I guess, of the whole story, is... I would say kinda underwhelming. Not in a negative way, because normally you always have, like, a big goal, right? It's always like, hey, I want to become the strongest. I want to become, I want to kill the demon lord or whatever. And it's always, like, something big. And for her, it seems, for her, it's something big. And, like, overall, it seems like something small, right? Never has a black cat race, whatever, evolved. And so she wants to do that. And that's why she wants to become stronger. So it's kind of um, personal, right? And very selfish, I would say. Which, like I said, is, is fine. It's nothing really bad. It, it's kind of refreshing, I would say, in some sense. Because, like I said, normally it's always something big and grand they want to achieve. And here's just like something personal, something selfish in that regard, which many might not really consider as something big right i mean they might consider it as something as something big if she can do it right because never has a black cat evolved so if she can do it some might consider it big but like in the grand scheme of things someone evolving seems like a normal thing in this world so if she evolves it's just an evolution right um unless she becomes ultra powerful because no one got to the point to evolve as black hat because otherwise they would be super powerful and then everyone would be super powerful whatever um, but yeah in that sense i would say it's kind of refreshing the goal we have for this and i am interested interested to see where this is now going um the subtitles for the next episode said something about adventurer guild so i guess we become adventurer which makes sense because adventurers get around right doing different jobs killing monsters and all that stuff which she all has to do if she wants to evolve so she has to fight monsters and become stronger and everything so that makes sense and yeah will be interesting to see how this whole 
adventurer guild system here works because it's overall always somewhat similar right but there might be some differences so we will see how that goes and overall i'm interested to see where this is going because we have now the sword which is basically ultra powerful it has telekinesis uh, it has uh, it, it can float it can recover it can analyze stuff and all that stuff it has fire magic earth magic uh, wind magic I think it has like all kinds of things it's super powerful super OP like basically every main character in an isekai just that it's a summer sword and because of that um, Fran gets also is also now super powerful right I mean she beats his bear in like one hit basically um, with a small difference uh, that she is not very Experience, right i mean she said she could fight somewhat which is another interesting part because it seemed like when she equipped the sword that she got the knowledge basically she said that she feels like as if she defeated like lots of monsters which is interesting so i am interested to see where this is going like is she now super good at combat because basically the experience from the sword went over to her now or is she still somewhat inexperienced just not as inexperienced as before because she got some of the knowledge of the sword so i guess that will be interesting to see if she is now almighty basically almost or if she still like has some struggles so yeah i mean something i'm also very interested in is to see if there will be party member because from what i've seen which isn't much but i've only saw the sword and friend always so i'm interested to see if we see party members that join us or not if it's just her as the swords the whole time could maybe become a bit boring if that's all right so we will see but yeah first episode decent impression hasn't completely blown me away but i mean it's just the first episode but yeah, i had some fun stuff some interesting stuff and definitely interested to see where this is going because it feels like not the freshest take in isekai anime but some somewhat fresh right because the goal is so different from many other isekais and the setting is quite different so yeah we will see but if you like what you saw leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think if you want to see more if you like this or not and yeah i would say thanks for watching until next time bye bye